Hello everyone, it's Michael from GetFitOver40.com. Today we're going to be doing an unboxing preview video for two products. We're going to be focusing on the one here on the right. That's what the main preview or unboxing video is going to be focusing on. But I did just get another product in that I want to just touch base on as well. So what we have here today is we have the iWound Fit. I think that's how you say it. It's the i6 Pro. It's a fitness tracker with a heart rate monitor. Tracks everything sleep, all of that kind of stuff. We'll get into it in a second here. Then I have, I think it's called the Skosh or the Skosh, I think it's Skosh, and it's the Rhythm Plus Heart Rate Monitor. Kind of an alternative to wearing the chest-based heart rate monitors. Should give you a much better result or readings than using the typical lower down the arm one because this one basically goes up high on the arm, kind of in your forearm. All right, let's get the Rhythm Plus kind of out of the way. Again, this is just simply a heart, an optical heart rate monitor, right? So you've got these optical sensors here. I'll turn it on. I don't know if you're going to see it, but they're super bright, okay? Like they are really, really bright. You have to recharge this. You get about eight hours of usage on it. It's trying to pair right now, but I, I'm just going to turn it off. There we go. Okay, so it should turn off now. Should there we go? All right. Again, you charge it eight hours of charging, or sorry, not eight hours, a couple hours of charging for eight hours of usage. So you're probably going to get a good four, five, or six workouts, depending on how long you actually work out. But what's nice is it's again, it uses a really bright um, sensors, and you wear it up high in your arm. So I'll try and show you. I'll sort of show you where it kind of goes. It would go more up here on your arm, okay, and. I've heard really great results. People get really great results with these types of optical heart rate sensors as compared to wearing it lower down on your wrist. So we're going to give this a try. I've been using the Polar H7, but I've been through two of them. They seem to die after a year. You know, what's the saying? Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. So I, I'm not going to let Polar fool me a third time into buying their product and having it die basically right when the warranty's done. So we're going to try this again. And, or this one for the first time and see if it works. If not, I'm going to take it back, but we'll give it a try. Now, in the box, well, this is the box, since it is an unboxing preview video, what you're going to notice is you have Bluetooth Plus, or sorry, Bluetooth Smart, and Amp Plus. So this works with pretty much everything, because that's going to be the standards, Bluetooth Plus, a lot of Polar products will use that, a lot of products, iPhones, uh, Apple Watches use use the smart Bluetooth smart and then the, the garments are going to typically use the amp plus um, depends on the machine this will work with machines it'll work with smartphones it'll work with most of the apps as long as they um, allow you to attach a heart rate monitor or if the phone or the uh, watch allows you to connect a heart rate monitor an external one then you should be able to use this device with pretty much any of those types of things in the box, of course, you have your manual. We're not going to go over all that stuff because we are going to be doing a review of this product once I've tried it out. You do get a small band, so you have the larger band and the small band, and then you have this guy right here, which is the charger. Okay, you're going to need this handy because you're going to have to charge it probably about once a week. All right, let's get back to the i6 Pro, the iWound Fit, and you can see it's trying to focus. Okay, so let's look around it real quick, and then I'll show you the box and stuff. This is actually an aluminum uh, portion here. All of this is, is aluminum, okay? And it's machined aluminum. It just happens to be painted. You notice here, right, you got your screen that automatically comes on. You're going to get a lot of weird uh, refresh rate stuff going on, but I don't see that. You just see that on film or on camera, right? You've got this heart rate monitor. See the back there? Really, really nicely made. Those two little prongs there are for charging it. Going to get about five days usage. The strap is quite nice. A little tough to get this on, but it does get on there. So there's the name of the company, right? This is all metal. And again, this is all metal here too. I'm not sure what the screen is made out of. Probably plastic, the hard plastic. I'm not sure if it's glass, but it is kind of curved. You see the whole unit's curved. It's very small and light, and you barely even notice that you're wearing it. So I want to show you the box real quick. Okay, so... Heart rate, fitness, rest band, dynamic heart rate, so all day activities and sleep. So it does track your heart rate all the time. I have to say, it paired super easy to my phone. Um, it's... The app is actually very simple, but it 
but it works. Um, I wore it last night. It tracked my sleep and everything really, really well. It's been tracking my heart rate. Um, you know, very simple. It doesn't count your total calories. It just counts your active calories, which is a little different than some other ones. Um, that's not a big deal. I kind of wish it would track your total calories, but at least you know what your active calories are, what the separation is, and you can always add in your resting calories manually. It's not hard to do that. And, you, and everybody's resting heart or resting um, metabolic rate is going to be different. So once you know what that is, you can add your active calories, and it might actually be better than what some of these devices do, where they manually, where they automatically put it in, but they're not necessarily accurate. All right. Automatically recognize multi sports, so you can have up to four sports loaded on it that you choose before you start your sport, which is kind of neat. And so you can have, like, say, biking, running, um, there's like a fitness one, there's yoga, there's a whole bunch of stuff. And then you also get your notifications. And a couple other things that it's not really mentioned on here is you can use it as a camera, so you can actually use it as a camera remote. You can find your phone. So it has some neat features, and it's only about 40 or $50 on Amazon, so it's pretty cheap. Of course, you get your charging cable. This one happens to have the magnetic. It's magnetic, too, which is nice, so it just, just pops on there magnetically. Okay. And, of course, you have a whole bunch of documentation. You have a quick start guide, Q&A daily active tracking so this just goes over some of the stuff it can do there's an on and it basically if you have the app you can go through the manual on the app there's an, a nice app built or manual built right into the app if you're not happy or if you are happy you can fill that out or go through there quickly let's go through some of the screen info here okay so you can see here just sort of bring it up there it automatically goes on when you turn your wrist up you see here we have the time and uh, we have the date, sorry, we have the yeah, time, we have temperature, and if I can get in here a little tighter. It's really not wanting to focus for me, is it? Okay, and you'll see at the top there you've got your battery, you've got notifications, and the connection status. Now we can also get to messages. You get the messages here, you just tap through them. You can actually delete messages on here as well. You can go to uh, tracking or training. So if we go, oops, go back to training, tap it. And we can swipe through the presets that I put on here. That one is, is basically fitness. This is yoga, right? And again, we can go down. There's a functions, so you can find your phone. You can uh, change the dial on here. You can reset it, power the unit off, and then you're back. You've also got a schedule, and this one's for um, alarms and things. It's mainly for alarms. So here's your, um, if you swipe to the right there or to the left, you get your, your steps your calories again this is active calories you get your um, what is this distance and you get your heart rate if you actually see it's not gonna, it's gonna try and read it but um, I didn't have it's not I'm not wearing it so it's not gonna read it too well so pretty much everything you need to know now when you have the camera app open so when you got their app open and you turn their camera app on it automatically goes to a button where you can press and take a picture remotely so that's really cool too having a remote built into this is is very handy actually um, you know some smart watches do it some don't this one does now, I quickly wanted to go over the app now it's gonna load so it's loading my data updating it right now but you can see here we've got activity heart rate and sleep didn't sleep very good last night but all you gotta do is it still loading I think it's loaded so it's updated my steps. You can just swipe to the right here. You should be able to. There we go. Okay. Took me a bit here. And you can see all your steps. It even breaks it down into little like areas here, times, so when you went for walks, how many calories you burnt. So when you do little, you might be sitting and then getting up and, and going for a walk. It actually takes that all into account and it's buzzing away on the table. It does vibrate. I just got a notification. So you can change the dates and stuff. You can go back, right? So we're gonna go back to heart rate. Select heart rate. And uh, you can see you got your heart rate. This is for today. I can check yesterday's out. Lowest was 60, average 79. And you can see uh, different things going up, right? Fat burn tells me what the uh, active, BM, active heart rate is. It's pretty neat. Um, I'm not sure what's going to happen when I do a workout. I haven't done a workout yet. I'm not sure how it's going to track workouts independently. We'll see when I do one. And then sleep. 
right? There's my sleep, total sleep, uh, deep sleep, light sleep, awake time, everything you need. The only thing that's a little different with this app, again, oh, and by the way, there's your temperature at the top there. The only thing that's a little different about this app is that, um, and the fitness trackers, is it doesn't calculate your total calories, like your, met, your resting rate and your active. I wish there was a way to do that. It's kind of nice. Some people like that. You can also go to the device here, and this is how you'd go to the camera. So now, you see how this has changed, and I got this little shutter button? That, basically, when I'm in camera mode, will do that. So, it automatically does that. It's pretty cool. And you can change different things with the device here. You can get into your settings and change different settings in here as well. So, that's pretty much it. I'm actually really impressed with the iWow and Fit i6 Pro. I think it's going to be a very useful device. Um, I think, you know, if it can track my heart rate pretty decently and give me decent calorie counts for activities like weightlifting, that's really going to be the deciding factor for me. I've always had to wear a chest strap when I do any type of weightlifting or, you know, intensive exercise that's not step-based or riding, bike riding based. I've always had to wear an actual heart rate monitor. So, you know, I'm just not sure what's going to happen and how it's going to calculate calories during the workout. I'm going to be using my Apple Watch and using the Record app on my smartphone along with this with the heart rate, proper heart, working heart rate monitor separately so that I'll have a basically I'll know what my true calories are versus what the i6 Pro is telling me. So that should help us determine if it's pretty accurate in that regard. All right, stay posted for my full reviews for both of these products. I'm going to be testing them out for about a week or so, and then I'm going to be making a review for both of them. All right, thanks for watching another GetFitOver40.com video. Don't forget to subscribe. Check me out on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Also, come on down to GetFitOver40.com if you have a chance, and check out my articles, reviews, and different information there. All right, thanks for watching. Until next time, take care.